So this is the big metropolitan newspaper in Agassiz and Harrison, so you can see what kind of a metropolis I live in right here. And yes, it is the 21st century. It is the 21st century here. That's what I like about it, is that there's lots of history. Everything looks like a country western town. Look at this. All the buildings look country and western. It's kind of a neat sort of feel. Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about is it easier to maintain muscle as opposed to gain it? And uh, this question is uh, something I've probably answered before, but the obvious answer to this is it's easier to maintain. Kind of like getting a ball rolling right you know just the old cliche sayings it's a lot harder to get the ball moving than it is to maintain the speed once it's rolling right so a lot of your effort is front end on anything you know there's a lot of projects that i'm involved in right now such as you know filming a music video and and, and doing these different things and you'll notice that you put a lot of extra effort in at the beginning but once things are running smoothly it's a lot easier to maintain well in a lot of cases this is the same thing with the physical body once you got it in a groove and you've got it uh, adapted in a certain way there's almost like a certain new homeostasis that is created and then the body works with you in order to maintain that much more so than before right so the body resists change um, most people resist change so this makes sense that whenever you cause the adaptation whenever the adaptation is made then it's a little bit easier to maintain it's not easy to maintain but it's a little bit easier so this begs the question uh you know the things that i teach on this channel are they even relevant to you because a lot of the ways that i train are about me maintaining my muscle mass and trying to gain as well but of course i train a little bit differently now in some cases just because i have the luxury of maintaining well that said i'm going to clear this up for you Back in the day, I trained exactly the same as I train now. I just might have been using heavier weights because I didn't have, say, the hockey shoulder injury or I didn't have the bicep injury that I had from you know, the chiropractor. You know, these types of things I talk about a million times. I always have to mention them because there's always one person that just sees this video for the first time and then I have to explain it all over again to them because they don't look at my backlist of videos. So if you haven't done that, I got over 500 videos. Please watch them all. You're going to learn an incredible amount of information. But the bottom line is, is that I train exactly the same. I still mix the rep ranges the same as I used to back in the day and I train with pretty much the similar frequency. If, if anything though, I do train a little bit more frequently than I used to and that might boil down to I'm forced to use a little bit lighter poundages in some cases to work around certain areas that I injured from hockey, right? So I always make my training decisions around what is happening right now in this moment. So I don't look back into my past and say, okay, how did I train then? I gotta train exactly the same. I look at what's going on with my body right now. And that is the dictating factor on what type of decision I make and what type of training program I use at the time. But my main point is, is that I train the same. I use the same type of rep ranges. I do heavy days, I do light days. And sometimes I actually even train lighter in some cases with super high reps, like super high reps. Like I remember bench pressing, you know, sets for 50, 60 reps on a regular occasion back in the day and then going to heavy days and then going back to that. And I found that I got a lot more gains from training in higher rep ranges about 60 to 70% of the time and then heavyweight 30%. Of course, each individual body part would also have its own rules on that as well because I found that some body parts needed me to train heavier more often than others and then other body parts seem to respond better to light. So you'll discover this about your body as you train over the years. You'll discover that some body parts seem to respond better to different rep ranges than others and I did make a video on this about uh, should you train uh, upper body and lower body at different rep ranges and, and so forth. So yeah, so I hope this helps you understand that I, I train exactly the same, so I'm not sharing with you wisdom that's just my maintenance wisdom or my maintenance technique of how to maintain muscle. It's, it's, it's really the same technique that I used back in the day in order to gain muscle as well. It's just that, yeah, your body's always changing. Your body's always adapting. You're, you're always in a brand new situation. And so it's important for you to be in the moment more than anything rather than just follow a template blindly anyway. So, yeah. I never really say to train exactly like me. I say use some of the techniques that I found and see how they fit into your own training program. And I think that's how you will discover your greatest level of success. So I hope this helps you out with your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalglambodybuilding.com. And thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters and take care for now.